Hi, Norm Sawyer here. Listen, every kitchen has a junk drawer. And when you go into it, you will find instructions to appliances and gizmos you don't even own anymore. You find dead batteries, you find rubber bands that are just um, uh, ready to, to, to break apart because there's just no strength in them. If I was to go into the junk drawer of your heart, what am I going to find there? Is it going to be very similar? In the same way that the instructions to appliances you don't own anymore are still there, are there offenses, are there people that you haven't forgiven yet that are already passed on and buried? Are there uh, angers and, um, and situations where you have not forgiven, but they're just sitting there in the junk drawer of your heart? In the same way that you have dead batteries in there, in your own life, in your own junk drawer of your heart, do you have things that you've been believing in that you think has power, but there's just no more power in it? It has long spent, it is long gone. It is time to grow and go do something else and let that go. In the same way with the rubber bands, um, that are all dried up, the ones that are in your heart, is there no strength or integrity in those things? Are they just breaking every time you want to trust in something that isn't trustable? You're trusting a, a doctrine from the past or things from the past that just doesn't work anymore. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. You see, keep the junk drawer of your heart clean because out of it are the issues of life. But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart and this defiles a person. When you think about the angers and, uh, that you have towards people that aren't even in the earth anymore, they've long passed away, or people that have moved on and things that happened in high school, you gotta forgive this stuff. This stuff is old, this stuff is dead. This stuff is old instructions to appliances you don't even own anymore. Throw them away. Jesus replied, you must love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. How can you love the Lord with all your heart when you have a bunch of junk in it? In Matthew 5, 8, it says, um, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Look, if you want to see God in your life, blessed are the pure in heart, not those who have a junk drawer full of resentment, of belief systems that don't work, full of mistrusts. It just doesn't work. You need to get it cleaned up. You need to have the Lord come in and clean that heart up. Hey, God bless you.